for the back. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black. Back onto Mickey. Mickey's out as well. No buyback on him. Tofu, he's jumping in. He gets the setup with the stone onto his Sadia. Zip for Quinn. GG. It's over. GG is called. Gaming Gladiators. They've done it again. They've and it's done it again and again and again and again. And again. And again. <laughs> With ease in this last game. I mean, we got one good game from Liquid, but I mean, this one, it, it quickly spiraled out of control. It did. There it was just did. the timing that they hit. They got a couple pickoffs, group around the Dusa. Liquid had no hope. I mean, it, it, it weren't no game three. It wasn't it, no game three, but it, it was, was pretty damn close. It was still, uh, yeah, 29 minutes. It, it was all it took here for gaming gladiators in those last 10 minutes of it. It really looked completely hopeless for Liquid. Something about this team. That they just keep winning. Nobody can challenge them. Not, not even the, the second best team in the world, right? Liquid. They're always here. They make it to this final hurdle, but they can never stop them. And it's always games like this where it just isn't close. It doesn't feel close. Gaming Gladiators, they have just been consistently that good throughout this entire season. Boy, this, is, this is insane. It's unbelievable. Really, honestly, like, these guys just play so well together. And it's everybody. That's the thing. It's never it just is. like, oh, it's the Quinn show. No, it's the, whole it's the Ace show. It's the, no, it's everybody. Everyone does their work, even though... You know, people have their words for Duracho. He proves himself time and time again, just being that absolute beast of a carry. I mean, it is crazy, right? This team winning as much as they have every single tournament, pretty much. Mm -hmm. it's, like, everybody's been looking at them. Everybody's been studying them. But still, nobody can work out how to stop them. I think there was an interview with Tofu at the start of this when he goes, people need to come up and they need to challenge us. They need to prove that they can beat us. And yet again, yeah. nobody can beat them. They really can't. Honestly, they're the best collection of players at the moment at this game. The best in the world by far. It's not even close. Celery, Duracha, Ace, Tofu, and Quinn. I don't know. It's marvelous stuff. It, 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 it's insane to see. And the thing is, like, you could already feel it halfway through this best of five, right? The, the game three happens, and then it, it really is. Okay, it's over. Yep. It's over. It doesn't matter what you do, who you are. You're never going to beat this team, Fogged in a best of five, it seems. No. I mean, this is unbelievable. Both teams have so much respect for each other, of course, but again and again, gaming just one, two, maybe three or four steps ahead, it seems. Yeah, well, I mean, when will it stop? When will it's, it stop? When will it stop? I mean, it's gonna have to <laughs> maybe be TI really. or something. I don't uh, know. Because at the moment, there's, there's no signs of it stopping. There's no signs of it stopping. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what another performance here and another best of five and another grand finals and another major. Ladies and gentlemen, your Bali Major Champions Gaming Gladiators! <laughs> In 2023, on the 10 year anniversary of Dota 2, we witnessed the most successful Dota team to have ever done it. Bali, give it up for the back to back to back to back champions, Gaming Gladiators! 10 years of Dota 2, we have never ever seen dominance in this fashion. They now left yet another trophy, yet again proving to be dominant. Take, take a moment to breathe, look at them, witness their faces. This is what greatness looks like. One more time, buddy, for the game of Madness. These six have done something unprecedented. Woo! All right, I need y'all to, boys, just look at this. Look at it for a second. Just soak it in. Soak it in, right? This has never been done. Ever. Ever. It's being done now. It's being done in a fashion that we didn't even believe possible. I need to hear from y'all. Tofu, I'm gonna start with you. We've talked to you guys a lot, because you keep winning. You keep winning all the time. And I keep asking you questions about Dota, but now I want to ask a question about you guys as a team. So I want each of you to tell me, starting with you, Tofu, in what way have these five gentlemen made you not just a better player, but a better person? I think whether we have ups or downs, it's like some, sometimes the mood is bad, like it happens when you lose. But with these guys, we, we are always recovered really quick. And I don't know, even if there's five people mad, one guy can crack a joke and I don't know, everyone's day is like good again. Uh -huh. Ace, I need to hear from you, fam. You're the veteran of this team. You've been around the block. You've been through these ups and downs. So, how's the journey with these guys? How they made you a better person and a player? Well, the journey has been so fucking amazing so far. And uh, hopefully many years to come with these boys. 
That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how do they made me a better person? I don't know. I feel like everybody just lifts each other up and everybody has a good time together. Everybody just enjoy what they're doing. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Coach CY, a man who has been underrated at times. No, not always in the spotlight, but now it's your turn. How have they made you a better person? I mean, you don't have to play the game, fortunately, but what have they done for you as a human? What have they done for me as a human? <laughs> they definitely won me some tournaments, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I mean, we just have a lot of fun together. We play the game. They, they taught me a lot of lessons about like trying your best and like give it Give it all you have, basically, and but also enjoy it meanwhile, because uh, yeah, it's pretty important, I'd say. Deracho, the young man, the newcomer, the up-and-comer, hit me, my friend. What have you got as a player and a person? What's the crew been doing for you? What? I don't understand anything. I cannot hear. <laughs> the sound is so weird. The sound is so weird. But basically, how they made you a better person and a better player? Your team, the boys why, here. Why they make me a better person? Yeah. Better. I think it's myself. <laughs> I, I don't think they help me sometimes, but it's all on my own. It's all to right, That's a carry player mentality right there. You gotta love it. Celery, let's hit you. The support, same thing for you as a person, as a player. What has Game and Gladiators done for you? It's a big question, man. I mean... Uh... <laughs> You're a big team. You deserve a big question. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's definitely the, the atmosphere that you learn. I can get pretty tilted sometimes, but then uh, <laughs> Anton is always there to be chill, and then I'm chill again. Hey, and of course we have to end this off with Quinn Callahan, the former CCNC. <laughs> Hala Eras, mid-player extraordinaire, officially one of the most dominant players of all time. Same thing, these five collection of players, you've played on a lot of different teams. So what have they done for you for a, as a person and as a player in the game? Uh, I mean, I'm just grateful to to be on a team of five people who are all just really good, who work really hard. Everyone, I can't, I can never point at anyone and be, you know, like mad at something they did. Really, I think it's just, it's just, I'm just grateful to uh, to get to be in a team where everyone's, you know, really good and works really hard. It's just, uh, it's a privilege, and I'm just trying to appreciate that. A privilege indeed, boys. For the last time, I need you all to touch the trophy. Hands on the trophy, boys. All of y'all. Diracho, Quinn, Celery, Ace, Cy, lift that bad boy up. Because y'all, the best team to 